Well, I'm here with Ty Canelli, former Sydney Swans player, who's just come out of retirement to play his final two games of his career representing Ireland in the International Rules Series. Ty, how are you feeling about this? Yeah, great. Look, um, I, had a, I had a fantastic career with the Swans, and uh, I was lucky enough to go back to Ireland as well in 2009 and, and win a, an All Ireland with Kerry. And, um, I won a premiership here with the Swans in 2005, so it was great to get a taste of both successes. But um, on my body, I suppose, in the end, giving, and I uh, decided to pack it in only a couple of months ago, and uh, I've been enjoying my retirement since. But uh, the last couple of weeks, I've had to pull my head in a small bit and uh, try and get a bit fit for the for the next two weeks, for the two games. Of course. So how long have you been out here in Australia? Um, I came out here in '99, so I've been here sat nearly 12 years, you know, so it's, uh, it's a long time. It's, uh, it's been good times, though. And, uh, and you've enjoyed every minute of it. I have, of course. Look, it's, uh, it's a great lifestyle. You know, it's uh, it's something that I, you know, every kid, I suppose, every young fella grows up and they get to, to get to do what you do and get paid for it. You know, I, I grew up and uh, in, in Kerry, obviously, you wanted to be a Kerry footballer. Of and, course. Uh, <laughs> well, to win an All Ireland with Kerry was a wonderful thing. Yeah, it was. Look, it was. Look, my father won five, five All Irelands with Kerry, so I grew up idolising my dad. You know, and uh, that's what I wanted to do was, was, was win an All Ireland final. I won the Premiership here in 2005, that's way about six weeks later, so oh. it was a bit of a shock and then it kind of set me in stone to go home and try and win an All-Ireland, so that was great in 2009 to go back and, and win the All-Ireland and, um, and then I got decided after that to come out and I still a couple more years to... Congratulations, yeah, it, it is great. a wonderful achievement to win yeah. both, there's not too many people uh, can lift their hat to that type, so yeah, it, it is great. Yeah, thanks. And uh, as a young man now that's now retired, what, what are your plans for the future? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm weighing up, so if there's anyone down in the chamber that's uh, going to offer me a job, yeah, give me a call. What, what industry are you interested I'm in working in, Ty? I'm from any industry, but I haven't done any labour work yet, so I'm probably... <laughs> I'm, I'm 30 years of age and I haven't worked a day in my life, so I came straight out of school and went straight to play football, so uh, well, I don't know how many of you the labour work. Hopefully, hopefully the Chamber will be able to do something now with your profile after being a, a very successful both AFL and GAA player, so uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do for you. But uh, Chai, what, any, anything, having been a, a long-term Irish person in Australia, is there, is there anything that you, would, um, that you would recommend to young Irish people that are coming to Australia in the, in the coming months? I think the first thing is trying to get in contact with people that are here or people that have set up obviously the Chamber of Commerce and whatnot or people that are involved in being in the, in the community for so long, you know, because there's, uh, there's people obviously that, that have live here, they've got a lot of connections, it's all about connections when you come out to a country, you know, and where to live, get live in the right place, obviously get in work and trying to find the right job or, or what you're looking for and they can, people that are already on ground, you know, that can help you out as in where to go and, and what to do, you know where to go and find a work or where to go and find what job you want or go to recruitment agencies or whatever you want you know and that's probably the first thing is if you've got people already set up here and there's a lot of Irish people living all over Australia just Melbourne, Sydney, everywhere you know obviously Brisbane and whatnot and the first point to call out is to ring those people before you come out and, and say look I'm heading out what can you do for me or can you point me in the right direction it's probably the first thing you need to do and then once you get out here you know I suppose the, the sky's the limit really is as far as what you want to do if it's a great country. So you can see yourself staying in Australia then Ty? Uh, I'm you sure, think yes. will you go back and try a few yeah. more or all Ireland's with Kerry or uh, I, I just uh, I just proposed to my girlfriend two, two weeks ago and she's Congratulations. Aust Australian so ah, she, well that's your you're in puts, for the visa she puts, so. she, puts foot, she puts the foot down and said yeah, you're not going anywhere so I'll wait and uh, who Great. knows like she, uh, she she's a beach girl so it makes it a bit hard to take her back to Belly Bunyan and Kerry you know instead that's of right. instead of Coogee or Bondi <laughs> it's a bit of a the that's right well Best of luck and very congratulations from everyone at the Chamber on your recent engagement and uh, we wish you the best of luck in life and in your future. No doubt you'll be very successful and particularly this weekend of course. I know what it takes to the Chamber has been on a lovely lunch for the boys and uh, really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate the work that they're doing for the Irish people, I suppose the Irish community over here in, in, uh, in Melbourne and Australia. It's great and uh, good on you, keep up the good work.